making his entrance to the ring. Welcome the challenger, Dr. Steelhammer, Vladimir Klitschko! I never seen nothing like this before, man. You know, fans are so excited. I, I, I can't, I can't wait. My, <laughs> I, my, my, my boys is oozing with excitement. This is amazing right here. Well, look at the scenes here at Wembley Stadium. I wasn't able to soak this in because I was stuck in the changing rooms. I did the ring walk tunnel vision, but sitting here really does bring back. When I watched it back after, I was able to soak in. But this is just unbelievable. I mean edge of your seat stuff and we just don't quite know out of what's going to happen fueled with desire wily ringcraft 
Vladimir Klitschko may be nervously waiting to see if father time as it did when Joe Lewis fought Rocky Marciano, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes, and Holmes against a rampant Mike Tyson might just catch up with him tonight. He has the armory, can he still pull the trigger? And now, coming to the ring, the defending world champion, AJ Anthony Joshua! Joshua or AJ as an adoring nation prefer to use makes this entrance of national hope even expectancy into the biting night air of the capital after only 44 rounds of professional boxing and a perfect 18 fight KO record now for the real moment of truth the leap up in level, the time when we all find out how good AJ is and how good he can be. crowd and unprecedented scenes amazing scenes again as you said before we say again it just keeps getting better and louder 
and Joshua just seems to be enjoying it and soaking it up. Nothing seems to bother this young man. Deontay, what do you think of what you're seeing here? Man, like I said, I think this is great. You know, uh, England loves AJ. He's the pride of England, and um, they support him. I think he definitely has the home field advantage on his side, and um, I think that's going to be enough for him. He looks so confident, you know, he looks so confident he's at home. And when you're at home, you, you feel confident, you feel good, especially when you have all the people screaming and hollering your name, especially with a multitude of 90,000 people. He was touching the fists of some of the fans, Anthony Joshua. You did that walk earlier, you did it three years ago. Very different. He's so calm, so relaxed. This is such a massive night. He was just to have so much self-belief and confidence from his training. I mean, he's only been a professional. Well, he's only boxed for nine years. I mean, he laced his gloves off as an amateur in 2008. Olympic gold medal, and here he is at this level. He just takes it in his stride. He's loving this like every fan watching is. He is, and it's amazing. I mean, some, somewhere inside him, there must be some nerves, there must be some tension, or he must be feeling some sort of... I don't know, I, I just can't put it into words. He just relaxed, smiling, enjoying himself, and just like a matter of fact, down to business. But we've seen him so many times. 18 fights, 18 wins, 18 by knockout, Olympic champion. Why isn't? Why shouldn't he be confident? Can Joshua live up to the enormous hype? That's an enormous age gap, 27 to 41, very close on the height and the reach. Vladimir Klitschko, 358 rounds to 44 of Anthony Joshua. Joshua, 27, and Klitschko's been fighting for 27 years. And look at that knockout percentage for Anthony Joshua. But Klitschko can punch very hard too with a left hook and right hand. More money piling on Anthony Joshua, 9 to 4 on. Two to one against Klitschko, most predict the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we will honor challenger and champion with their respective national anthems. First, the national anthem for Ukraine, performed by the beautiful singing voice of Natalia Klitschko. Save the Queen, performed by X Factor champion and international recording artist, Louisa Johnson.
Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Wembley Stadium and the main event of the evening. And it's all brought to you by Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing, together with Klitschko Management Group and K2 Promotions. This is 12 rounds of boxing for the unified WBA, IBF, IBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by Mick Fit, William Hill, StubHub, and JD Sports. Sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, President Charles Giles. International Boxing Federation President Daryl Peoples, International Boxing Organization President Ed Levine, World Boxing Association President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. Timekeeper at the bell is Bob Edgeworth. The three judges scoring from the United States, Don Trella. From Puerto Rico, Nelson Vasquez. From the United States, Stephen A. Weisfeld and your referee in charge of the action at the bell. From the United States, world championship veteran, David Fields. And now, the officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. So for the record setting sold out, 90,000 fans here at Wembley Stadium, and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner with his trainer Jonathan Banks and wearing gray. His official weight, 17 stone. Two pounds, six ounces, or 240 one half pounds. In 1996, he captured Olympic gold, and now his professional record stands at future Hall of Fame numbers, consisting of 68 fights, 64 victories, including 54 wins by knockout with only four defeats. He ruled the heavyweight division for a decade, and tonight he seeks to return to championship glory. From Kiev, Ukraine, presenting the two-time Heavyweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Manadama Nuntan, Tommy Gaspada, Dr. Steele Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Rob McCracken. He's wearing white and officially weighed in at 17 stone. 12 pounds, two ounces, or 250.1 pounds. He captured Olympic gold at the London Games in 2012 and captured the hearts of a nation. Now, as a professional, his record stands as a perfect one. 18 fights, 18 victories, 18 knockouts. From London, he is the heavyweight fighting pride of all England. He is the reigning, defending, undefeated IBF heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony. on the grandest of stages surely the most significant and certainly the richest heavyweight fight ever staged in Britain two Olympic gold medalists 
consummate pros and physical giants collide after the classiest build-up to this clash of the ages, the youth, athleticism and freshness of Anthony Joshua, the vast experience and proven strategies of Vladimir Klitschko. The time has arrived. Light the touch paper. I'm still struggling to get to grips with how relaxed Anthony Joshua looked there on the announcement. Now calm, but he seems very strict, switched on and focused now, straight behind that jab. Solid jab and a left hook early from Joshua. Inside the opening 30 seconds, who's going to get sent to ring? Who's going to be able to assert their authority quickly behind the potent jab? Found his range very quickly there, Joshua, with a right hand. He's looking again for the right and left hook. Klitschko just being a bit weary, but putting Joshua on his back foot, which I didn't really expect to see this early. One mistake could be so costly from either of them. Klitschko with 54 knockouts. Joshua 18, every one of his opponents so far as a professional has fallen never gone beyond seven rounds Klitschko a master at the 12 round distance just out of range with the right hand who's settling better Carl? well at the minute it's just trying to find range with the jab they'll both be nervous they'll both be sort of in the feeling out process as we say but the right hands from Joshua are going in nothing really happening here, Joshua looking for the left hook, straight right hook. The distance and range of both men is so good, they're both very good boxers and they're both good counter punches. Klitschko's not going to want to take a shot because of his age. Good jabs from Joshua early. Klitschko hasn't been hurt for so many years, but he was on the floor 11 times in that first part until Emmanuel Stewart redefined his style. Got his legs working, underrated footwork. Brilliant ring acumen, he's so intelligent. What's left now? Body shot from Joshua. Nobody really trying anything too risky here. Klitschko trying the left hook and the left right. Joshua swinging, a bit clumsy there with the left hook but maybe just trying to get something going. Nobody really wants to take a gamble or take any risks this early on. He's inching close, Klitschko. Trying to make that positive start. Who can cope better on the back foot? Interesting first. into a boxing match he can't outbox you says Jonathan Banks from that prompt sweatshop he was also a student of Emmanuel Stewart as Klitschko fights and looks for a big right hand he couldn't find that against Tyson Fury 17 months ago Anthony Joshua so raw really as a pro at this level it's a huge leap into the unknown well, he landed with a right hand there earlier. Klitschko, Joshua didn't seem too phased by it. Seemed to switch him on because now he's dubbing that jab up and getting his feet in range. Just a little mark by the left eye of Anthony Joshua. Just blinking there. A 
the battle of the jabs. Pitch goes so effective on his back foot, almost to the point of negativity where he doesn't get hit. And he knows the devastation of getting hit at this weight, and he's adopted his style so good over the years. Will Joshua be able to find him? And he came in very light at 17.26, the lightest in seven and a half years. Klitschko is that for speed. He's trained so hard in Kiev and Austria. Anthony Joshua for 12 weeks in Sheffield. They've honed themselves to perfection for this enormous occasion. Joshua looking for the fast right hand that's done so much damage so far in his career, but Klitschko so good at judging distance. And the legs still seem to be there, Carl. Well, it's early on, but yes, he does seem to be quite light and nimble on his legs. Joshua trying to make stuff happen. He's the one stepping forward. He's the one behind the jab and trying to get this fight going. Klitschko happy to sit back and look for the counter. I'd like to see Joshua do a bit more, maybe throw that right hand to the body. Obviously, watch what's coming back. But Klitschko looks uncomfortable under pressure. I like how Joshua is setting the pace and he's allowing Klitschko to try to guess and come in like that. that, that, take, that he's setting them up, he's setting them up, keeping the pace like that. Looking for the right hand counter there, Klitschko, as Joshua came in low. So a little reminder that Joshua can't switch off. Good head move from Klitschko, just trying to trigger something from Josh. Little feints with the footwork from Klitschko. Joshua just boy sitting back looking for that counter. That's excellent ring craft this from Vladimir Klitschko. When he fought David Hay. The haymaker just couldn't get close. Over the 12 rounds, Klitschko dominated. He's so good at it. early on and didn't seem to bother Joshua too much. That was right at the start of the round, he landed quite flush. So maybe that tells us something about Joshua and his ability to cope with the power of Klitschko. But that was probably the only bit of success Klitschko had in that round, because Joshua was busy with his feet, seeing there land in the right hand. But it's what Klitschko does so well. When he gets caught, he sees the punches coming, he's always on his back foot, which takes the sting out of that power, takes the, the power out of the punch, so he can cope with them shots when he's on his back foot. Good round, though, I think, for Josh, Joshua there. As he was he was making the fight happen. I think the judge will be impressed with that. Seconds. And he landed a couple of couple of um, you know light but effective shots. And as you can see, even though Klitschko landed the shot, it was never there again. Joshua is is, is settling in. He's he's timing them and he's taking his range. Third of twelve, the IBF, WBA, and IBO. Titles on the line. The white trucks of Anthony Joshua, who started this round strongly. The grey of Vladimir Klitschko at 41. Hoping to emulate the likes of George Foreman, who knocked out Michael Mora 20 years on from being a world heavyweight champion. Defy. The laws of logic, the age, and the young lion of Anthony Joshua, who starts getting inside with a combination. And the hand speed of Joshua is troubling Klitschko, who's being backed up and now holding on. He's put the pedal down, Joshua. Well, this is what we want to see from Joshua, the heavy work rate, the, the heavy punches, body and head, and how Klitschko at 41 can cope with that. And he didn't look very comfortable under the attack and under the pressure of Joshua right there. Just backing off and regrouping, Klitschko. He lost to Ross Purity in Kiev early in his career, and he was blown away by Corey Sanders. And then a strange stoppage defeat to Lehman Brewster. But for many years, the chin has held up. It hasn't really been tested, has it? It's not, no, it's not been tested at all of late. The Klitschko ace, the thing is going to be how long can he keep up with a young Joshua? He's coming on, the energy is moving, 
He's, he's throwing a lot of punches now. How long can Klitschko keep up with this pace? Well, that's it, as the fight draws on and, and Joshua steps on the pace and gets comfortable and comes forward with these shots, Klitschko will start to look more and more comfortable. In and out now, Anthony Joshua. So calm beforehand and really relaxing into this. Good jab as well, and Klitschko just uncomfortable in the centre of the ring. Tries the left hook. Referee David Fields from New Jersey, former sparring partner of Marvin Hagler. Splits them up, experienced ref, but he's never controlled a world heavyweight title fight before. What a place to start. He's on his toes here, Klitschko, bouncing a lot. You know, the amateurish bouncing technique that sets up the jab and gets you going, but I don't know if them 41-year-old legs can, can do that for 12 rounds, so I think he needs to settle down, get behind the jab, and maybe pull his guard up because he's wide open with that low left. This is Joshua here on his back foot. Vladimir, he throws baits with a jab. He tries to draw work in from Joshua, but Joshua's too cute there, just stepping back, smiling. So he knows what pitch goes up to. Trying an old trick there with a fake jab, not quite working. Josh not being drawn into it, but the work rate and the pressure from Josh when he puts it on just seems to take over from Klitschko. Stadium, a post-war boxing record of 90,000 millions around the world tuning in, stopping to see what happens with these two. Please go. Good right hand right there from the Klitschko, game. and another one. Doubling them up. Switched off a little bit there early on in the round, Josh, and taking two clean right hands. Is he hurt here? I'm not sure what's going off here. Holding there, Anthony Joshua. We remember he was stunned in that second round by Dylan White. He coped with it and came back and took White out, but he was shaken. Here's the experience of Klitschko tying Josh up then as he attacked, just sort of turning that sh left shoulder to his right, getting away from that Josh right hand. But was Joshua momentarily stunned there with that right hand? Certainly troubled. Deontay, what did you think about that? I think, he, I think he's still taking well. He's still coming. He's coming by, he let, he let Klitschko know, I am still here. This is the lion's den, he call it. Um, my question is, my thing is, I want to know, is Klitschko, he's lighter, is he trying to take him in the deeper waters like he is, or is he trying to get him out? Joshua, a career heaviest at 17, 12, 2. Seemed like he's just trying to take a face, Klitschko, and take him deeper like, like his plans was. Maybe trying to take him to late rounds, but here in this round, he's looking for that big right hand, and he's found home with it a couple of times. Joshua not in too much trouble. Uns un unsettled, though, Anthony Joshua in this fourth round. Vladimir Klitschko having success, looking for the big left hook again. That put pay to Kubrat Pulev and several others during that long reign. This guy has found a little bit more confidence as well, too. You see, he's been the more aggressive now since he's landed those punches. Right to the body from Joshua, trying to slow down the older man. So clever on his back foot, Klitschko there, just turning and leaning away and pivoting off on that front foot, clockwise with his right leg. Oh, big right hand from Joshua. But Klitschko just spun it. He rides the shots, he rides them right hands, twists away. Trying to get inside and unload a snappy combination. He's looked more ragged, Joshua here. That confidence in the third round, not quite the same here. Nothing really landing flush from Joshua. Klitschko finding home a couple of times with that right hand, and then being very evasive on his back foot and very cute with his defence. So how he needs to fight. He's an old man, let's not make no mistake. 41-year-old legs will catch up with him, but we know he's got 12 rounds in here. We saw it against Tyson Fury. He was okay later. And we don't know what Anthony Joshua will be.
right play, Tom, because we've never found out yet. Fitzko looking like he's fancy in this, just plenty of fakes and his front foot, good head movement. He's yeah. trying to trigger a reaction there from Joshua. Good round for Klitschko. And remember what Tony Belli predicted. If Joshua hadn't got rid of the Ukrainian within four Look rounds, just breathe and relax, it moves right? towards Klitschko. Here's Rob McCracken. Just breathe and relax, mate. That pressure he's doing, you can't throw a lot. Right hands to the body now. Come back with your hook, just don't run. Check left hook there from Klitschko, followed by a right hand, Joshua backing up. Didn't really see that one coming. It's almost like he's telegraphing the left hook so he can see that and come in with the right hand. Klitschko is always trying to line up for the right hand. The right hand landed with some velocity there. It was on his front foot. Joshua just sort of maybe seeing it at the last minute and bracing himself for it. But um, it was good work from Klitschko there. Then he got on his toes, then he started to get a bit of confidence. Joshua really needs to stamp his authority now. Back in this fight. Fifth round in the 49th for Anthony Joshua. And the 363rd for Vladimir Klitschko and Anthony Joshua is going for it in the fifth round. And Klitschko's shaken. He's hurt for the first time in 11 years. Big moments for Joshua. And he's cut as well by the left eye. And a left hook. Well, Klitschko is Anthony moving. Joshua is on the first. Joshua has predatory finishing instinct. Can he do it in this class? Klitschko tottering around the ring. Trying to find safety somewhere. A big smile from Joshua, but Klitschko's fighting back with a left and a right as they go to war. Well, it talks about stamping that authority, and Joshua did just that right there, and it was an explosive attack. For the left up there, Joshua. But the swinging wall. big bombs in there. Klitschko's eyes bad, stitched around in the corner. Expert cuts, but we'll have to work on that. I feel like Joshua got caught that left up there and he's momentarily stunned him. And now he's on his back foot. Is Joshua hurt here? I think they've both been hurt, but Klitschko down in this fifth. Breathing heavy, Joshua, for a lot of work in there, and he's been caught. Now he's hurt, Joshua! This is amazing, guys. Well, Klitschko, we knew he wasn't just going to go away. Oh, oh. Right hand from Klitschko there. Massive power punches going in, and Klitschko's looking to take Joshua out. That left, the left hand, he's really badly hurt, the Englishman, and now he's in real trouble inside the last minute of the fifth, and he's got to hold, but has he got the experience to weather the storm? He's in desperate trouble here. Joshua, Joshua in bad trouble here, almost there on his feet. Unbelievable stuff here from Klitschko. An astonishing round here in this heavyweight battle of the ages. Vladimir Klitschko down, but Anthony Joshua is on the verge of being stopped unless he finds something. 20 seconds left. Both guys are tired, but they're both digging it out. They're taking it all in. They're putting everything they got in this fight. And now Joshua comes back. They are tired, but they are finding some way to keep punching. Right hand from Klitschko. Oh. And the bell goes. What on earth did that take out of the power of them? There's a smile from Joshua. But he was in real bother. Well, Klitschko in bad trouble here under the Arsenal, the, the heavy attack from Joshua, and this is what we expected to see from the younger, fresher man. But as the round drew on, all of a sudden, only one shot from Klitschko, the left hook, landed flush on Joshua, and yes, he did a lot of work and maybe emptied some of the tank. Some great shots here from Joshua. Let's have a look at the work. I mean, lovely left hook, lovely right hand. Klitschko, Klitschko using his experience, lovely, but there's a right hand from Klitschko. 
so much power, so much intensity in the punches. It's trying to get him out of there. This is heavyweight boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the left hook that landed from Vladimir Klitschko really did seem to empty the tank of Joshua. What has he got left? We'll see now. Some have felt that the big muscles of Anthony Joshua might be a problem, that he might gas out at some point down a fight. Fifth round, both with huge success, both with weaknesses. What happens next in a fight that's really exploded? That cut is wide of Klitschko. Above the left eye, and he's swinging with the left hook. Is he getting desperate? Just one mouthpiece is up. These guys are putting it all on the line. This is what I always say. This is boxing is no joke. We put our line, we put our heart, we put our life on the line, and these guys are fighting with everything they got in them. So much pride. So much competitive spirit, everything at stake. A clash of heads, Klitschko gets through with the right hand as well, and Joshua nods at him. Well, Joshua talks to him, as Klitschko looks for that right hand, he shakes his head as if to say, you're not landing that one again. But here he comes, oh! from Vladimir Klitschko, and Joshua is down. At five, will he make it up? It was a heavier fall than Klitschko's, and there's a minute 40 left in the sixth. One knockdown apiece, but it is now Vladimir Klitschko again on the verge. That was an explosive shot from Vladimir Klitschko, and Joshua in desperate trouble here needs to hold, needs to regroup. Think about Joshua, must stay calm at this point, he must not lose composure. Klitschko holds, tries to get the right hands off. Joshua very unsteady on his legs. Will the chin hold up of Joshua? The question marks of Klitschko's chin over the years, but can Anthony Joshua's hold up? But look, there another left hook from Vladimir Klitschko. He shakes his head, Joshua, but he was stopped in the amateurs. Is he going to be stopped again on his biggest night? Or can he find something from somewhere? I think the experience of Klitschko here under this pressure will be the difference when both men are struggling in the hurt. Klitschko here really just taking his time. At this moment, Klitschko is trying to set him up with his right hand. I've seen this before in camp. He won a fake with his jab and, and come down with the right hand. Not just... wasting anything, Deontay. Just looking for that left hook or that single right hand because he knows he's one punch away here. Yes. Joshua still there, trying to get back behind his jab. Looking on shaky legs, Joshua. Still punching with power. And listen to the crowd loving this heavyweight spectacle here at Wembley Stadium. The respect in the build-up, the battle in the ring. What a right hand. Wonderfully timed, accurately landed. Here comes the shot, straight down the pipe, one, two. Klitschko almost took his eyes off his opponent. They looked to the floor and closed his eyes. Bit of inexperience here from Joshua. You can see he was hurt, but luckily for Joshua, that left hand didn't really land clean. But badly hurt, badly shaken. Klitschko not able to close the show, but he's taking his time. He's using his wild experience to rub a cracker here. Come on, he's Robert McCracken doing everything he can. In the blue corner, Jonathan Banks in the red corner. We're entering Vladimir Klitschko territory. The 12 round experience. Second half of this compelling, massive heavyweight fight on Carl's unofficial card. Joshua in a narrow lead, the 10 8 rounds, 5 and 6. But most, almost everybody predicted this would not go the distance. Surely it can't. You wouldn't have thought so. I mean, 
Klitschko there looking for that right hand, and Joshua just dropping that left glove as almost to invite the right hand in. He needs to move, he needs to get his guard up because this is bad news now for Joshua as Klitschko backs him up looking for them big shots. Bobbing and weaving Joshua, wanted to test himself against the very best. I think Joshua's still trying to recover. His he's, he's punch output is not as it was in the earlier rounds. Klitschko again with the left hand, he shakes his head. It's a very different Vladimir Klitschko to the one that was befuddled and bemused by the skills of Tyson Fury. A different start in front of him. He really is just taking his time here, Klitschko, not wanting to trigger that right hand and miss because he will sap so much energy out of these big men. But Joshua worrying signs because he's not fighting back with much at all. And you'd like to see him get the jab going on, maybe throw the right hand to the body as he's on his back foot. He's almost at times a sitting duck, which is really dangerous. The jabs from Klitschko, talking to him in there. They sparred 20 rounds, but that was sparring three years ago with the big gloves. He keeps talking, Joshua. As Klitschko's lean on, that's also a method of trying to get him even more tired with Klitschko clearing and leans on you. It's draining. Right, Klitschko knows these tricks though. He's been there, seen it, and done it before. He's been hurt himself before. Joshua's in total new territory here. I totally agree with you, with you call. That's what the experience come from. And still light on his feet, Vladimir Klitschko. Good jab from Klitschko. Landing home with that jab. He'll be comfortable enough with that as long as he's landing the jab. He knows the right hand can follow. Joshua needs to try and get something going here. Maybe jab the shoulder, jab the stomach, keep that defense nice and tight, but try to get something going because he's on his back foot almost waiting to be hit. Both the young lion and the old campaigner have hauled themselves up off the canvas. Obsession for Vladimir Klitschko. And a path, says Anthony Joshua. And there he's trying to get something going with a combination. And now Vladimir Klitschko gives him the nod of approval. Whatever happens here, I bet we're heading for a rematch. Well, I've got a feeling that Joshua is just trying to recover and get some energy back in the tank. And that's how he's fighting, just reserved for now while he recovers. He ain't got nothing left, we can get to work now. Combinations, jab right hand left up. Jab right hand left up, body head. Come on, combinations, step back. Get your jab in and get your right hand in left up and go underneath. Come on, mate. Familiar sounds for me there from Robert McCracken. And what he means by that is, let's get this working, let's get the shots together, jab right and left up. He just means put your shots together and get something going. Combinations are crucial now for Anthony Joshua. Almost oh, definitely. He, he was throwing beautiful combinations in the beginning. Now they're trying to get him back in the Listen momentum the of throwing the punches. Come on. You've got to be smart, Joshua. You've got to be smart, Robert McCracken, who was secretly worried that this might be too soon. Second round. It was always going to be a gamble. If I'm not mistaken, Joshua had never seen eight round, is he? First time the bell tolls for Anthony Joshua for the eighth round. The white stripes, if you need any identification, of AJ and WK, who's already rewinding the clock with his performance. What a fighter he's been. Smashed through Joe Lewis's record of 28 World Heavyweight title fights. Whatever you think of his style and strategy over the years, he's a Hall of Famer and he should be applauded. Well, to come here and do this is amazing at 41. He's got the young man there in heaps of trouble. And his footwork is just unbelievable to see for a heavyweight. And for an aging heavyweight, it's, I'm sure it's never been seen. It's, it's unbelievable. Joshua, I feel, because he's younger, he may recover. He's had a couple of rounds off. He may just start to feel like he's getting some energy back. He's trying to get behind the jab here, but he's a big man. There's a lot of muscle there, soiling up that oxygen. He's trying to get his jab going, which is a good one, Joshua. But Klitschko has utilised that better at times tonight. I think Klitschko's a little buzz. That, that left hook was a very effective left hook. Yeah, good spot. Deontay, wild there from Klitschko. 
looking for the right hand there, Klitschko didn't quite set it up, so Joshua saw it coming, slipped under it. Joshua on the attack now, seems to be getting his feet back under him, seems to be putting more shots together. Maybe he is recovering, maybe he's managed to put the effects of that knockdown behind him. Deep breath, though, as well, from Joshua. He just stalks you, Vladimir Klitschko. So awkwardly effective. He puts pressure on with the feet, backs you up. You can see him, you can feel him coming, and there's nothing happening. Then all of a sudden, that right hand down the pipe, so effective. You can see the experience and the wisdom of Klitschko, wasting nothing here. Klitschko, oh. Right hand. The pass swap lever. The only thing about Klitschko is his, when he throws a jab, he always comes down to his hip as he's finished with it. If Joshua can time that to come with the one-two, he can make him change the momentum of this thing. He turns off behind that shoulder, though, so effectively, Klitschko, and almost makes that right hand impossible to land. But he does leave a gap, and Josh can exploit that if he times it right. Heads coming close again. Referee splits them up. It's flowed for the most. We're deep into the eighth now of this fascinating battle to watch. Well, Klitschko will be quite happy. He's very experienced. He's landing the jab. He'll be happy with the jab landing. Keeping Joshua off balance. Just keeping ahead on the scores with that jab. But here comes Joshua, and we need something from him. Hayden Panettiere. Vladimir's partner at ringside, looking very, very relaxed, confident that her man is in the ascendancy. How will the judges be seeing things, do you both think? Well, it's close early on, and we've got two knockdowns, one for each corner, but Klitschko now just sort of taking over with his jab. From round six, knockdown against AJ. Klitschko came out and just took his time in round seven and in round eight, and he just he's just in front, dominating with that jab, dictating. Real motivation again from Robert McQuack, and look how quick Vladimir Klitschko is out and dancing on his feet. It's an incredible performance this already from Klitschko, 17 months out, no ring rust. Just let you know that age is nothing but a number. There's my score, Carl. I've got Klitschko one round ahead. Not really much in this. But Klitschko winning the last couple of rounds behind his jab. RTL, our German colleagues at ringside, have Klitschko two points up. Showtime have him one point up. They're just behind us. What is Klitschko doing? He's trying to come out and he's trying to set his own pace. He wants Joshua to, to follow his momentum. Lots of movement from Klitschko in and out with the jab, side to side, trying to almost circle Josh, just keep him off balance, not allowing Joshua to set. The more the more he's doing, he knows Joshua has never been past the seventh. And the tire he's trying to get him, the more he bounce around and I feel like the dangerous stage for Joshua has been and gone now, and he seems to be recovering. But all that experience, even if they weren't pretty, the wins over Sultan Ibragimov, who went late, Hay, Marius Vak, Alexander Povetkin, Brian Jennings. He knows how 12 rounds work, Vladimir Klitschko. He does, very experienced at 12 rounds in the championships round. He's been here before. This is all new for Joshua. Joshua poking out the jab. Can he get the crisp combinations together that Robert McCracken was calling for? Can he negate that Klitschko jab? Good right hand there from Joshua. He needs to start trying to get something going. Steps in there, cheeky little left hook to the body. And coming together with the clinch. Klitschko so effective at tying his opponent up. Lennox Lewis just behind us lost his unbeaten record to Oliver McCall over at Wembley Arena. There was only a couple of thousand there that night. There's 90,000 here, all that pressure on Anthony Joshua's shoulders. 
but he's lapped it up. He's still in there, but he's behind. Most people feel at ringside. There's a right hand from Joshua. What twists and turns are in the championship rounds. There's that experience from Klitschko again, tying his man up. Joshua's not used to this. If Joshua is feeling like he's recovering and the engine does feel like it's getting, you know, a bit more energy inside, he needs to start working. This is where he needs to start letting the punches go. I think that was a good round for the Buffalo guys. Joshua seemed to waking up a little bit, but the spirits of Klitschko, as you can see, even when he is in the clinches on the ropes, I don't know if y'all guys see it, but he's had his arm over his neck. That's little tricks of trying to time down as well. The heavier the arm is, the more it can be. Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield side by side. Terrific to see. Great, great champions. Just like Vitali and Vladimir have been, Spencer Oliver have just caught his eye. He's got Klitschko three up. Darren Barker has Klitschko one up. Difficult finding anyone if it's Joshua's in front. He's not, is he? No, I think with that knockdown and then with round seven and eight, but he's getting back into it now. I think that round was very close, almost even, and now I want to see more work from Joshua. Here he comes, and this is what I want to see. He has, he, it looked like he didn't woke up a little bit. He didn't pass the seven round and say, it's not, it's not that bad. Yep, psychologically, now he hears the bell for the tenth. Nine minutes to go in this high educational fight for Anthony Joshua. He's learning more minute by minute than he has in his whole amateur and professional career to date. Most definitely, it's fascinating that you can um, have such a torrid round six, go over and get up, just stay with it, stay confident, stay composed. He's got Rob McCracken in his corner, one of the best in the business. And Joshua seems to be recovered now and seems to be steady on his feet. So he was so unsteady for a couple of rounds, it was so worrying. Klitschko doing much of the same, not imposed himself enough really to take this. Yeah, Vladimir Klitschko down in the fifth. Joshua down in the sixth. And a heavier knockdown. And it looked at one point that he might be taken out, but he's recovered well. He's done that bit, Anthony Joshua. Recovered well, and that's a credit to his fitness and his conditioning team. But look at Vladimir Klitschko with the jab. That authoritative weapon. Jab so effective from Klitschko, he doesn't seem to be looking for that right hand or even throwing the right hand anymore. And how good does Tyson Fury's win over Vladimir Klitschko look now? Well, it was an awkward, almost disjointed win from, from Tyson Fury, but it, it was a great win, wasn't it? Let's be honest, take nothing away from, from what Tyson Fury achieved that night. Tyson Fury, who actually wished Anthony Joshua well on social media and said, knock out Klitschko and then we'll go to war. That's a long way in the future. That's another little trick of Chris Gold. Uh, bend them over and come with the right hands up where the ref can't see that, those things. The old fox, the ring craft, the yes. tricks of the trade. That's right. There's nothing to separate these two athletes in this ring now because they're both looking for a shot, not quite finding it. Klitschko maybe just being a bit more fixed with the jab. But difficult for either of them to get anything going. Right hand from Klitschko. Back comes Joshua. Holding on, trying to work the body on the inside. That knowledge of Klitschko. And again, the light dancing on the feet. Oh, a big shot there. Walked into a big right hand there, Joshua. Did he land his own? Yeah, Klitschko's back facing me. Didn't quite see the angle, but I think they both landed right hand. But here comes Klitschko at the end of the round. Yeah, doubled up with the right hand. Head static of Anthony Joshua. Andy is with Tony Bellew.
Tony, you've been shouting from ringside. What have you been shouting to Anthony Joshua? I've told him to implement his own style on the fight. He's got to force the pace. Vladimir looks the man who's tired now. Look at him in the corner. He's blowing. He physically feeling this fight. Anthony's got to use the youth and the side and the strength advantage. He's got to press. He has to land the right hands and force Vladimir to fight. Vladimir wants to do this chess match. Keep touching with the hands. He's looking to line up the left hook, right hand. He's been looking for it all night. Anthony has to force the pace. Vladimir is ready to be taken. He's the man who's tiring in there. Anthony's got his second win now. It's time for him to take over this fight. It's really close on the cards, though. You don't need this to go to points. Thanks, Tony. Is he ready to take him? He was hurt by a couple of shots at the end of the 10th round, Anthony Joshua. Big shots, though, at the beginning of the 11th, and Anthony Joshua is now going for it, and Klitschko's got to hold on. More drama in this Blue Ribbon division. Klitschko was hurt there. next? Vladimir Klitschko hurt. People on their feet at ringside. Can Anthony Joshua find the punches to turn this fight around again? And Klitschko looks unsteady. Hopefully he don't punch himself out. He's doing a good job. He got to stay calm at this point. He still got him bust. He still got him hurt. I don't want him to punch himself out. Sloppy looking punches there from Joshua after that nice right hand that landed there early in the round. Klitschko seems to recover. Joshua almost running on empty. Klitschko with his experience now. Could cause problems for Josh. Looking for that right hand there. There's nothing in this round. Good punches landing from both men. But I like the success from Joshua. What Tony Bellew was saying there was Joshua needs to impose his style, put his shots together. It's all right saying it, but it's another thing doing it. If you feel it's a oh, oh, good shot there. from Anthony Joshua, and Vladimir Klitschko took it, but Joshua's going for a big left hand, and down goes the giant Ukrainian in the same round that he lost his unbeaten record to Ross Purity. And can he get through it? A minute and a half left in the 11th, and Klitschko down. Second time in the fight, and this is Anthony Joshua's big chance. A huge right hand, and Klitschko is somehow trying to survive. But Anthony Joshua tumbles him again. Unbelievable! Scenes of Wembley. Klitschko just gets to his feet. Will he make this through? Showing all the heart, guts, and courage. But he's so badly hurt, and surely Joshua is just a punch away. Well, that's the youth of Anthony Joshua. He's recovered, he's a young man, and here he comes. This is great work from Joshua. What fitness, what heart from Klitschko! Joshua hauls himself up off the floor and stops Vladimir Klitschko in the 11th round and catapults himself towards superstardom. What a fight, what a night, what a win. From somewhere, Anthony Joshua found it. Amazing, Deontay Wilder. This is amazing. You know, we said Klitschko well, had the experience, but Joshua was a younger fighter. You know, he had he learned so much. Uh, he learned so much in this fight right here, and he could, got his composure back. And the youth of this, the youth came in and kicked in, and he got the job done. All the hype, the weeks and weeks of it, the millions tuned in, the thousands here breaking records and they dished up a humdinger Anthony Joshua Vladimir Klitschko both down but it is the Englishman who survives the storm 19 fights 19 wins and that the big test he delivers as 
he taps his gloves with the WBC heavyweight champion here. And what we learnt about Anthony Joshua tonight. Well, he has grown now as a professional. He's been through the wars there. He's been knocked down. He's gone up. He's knocked his opponents down. He's had to come through adversity there and recover. And this is the finish. There's the uppercut from Joshua. We thought Joshua's out and gone. Then he got himself back. But that's the youth. That's the enthusiasm. That's what it brings. Look at the uppercut there from Joshua. He's refilled the tank here with a recovery. He had a couple of rounds off after the knockdown, and then he produced this. Against a Vladimir Klitschko, who was defying Father Time with the light footwork, the jab, the success that he had, and the unbelievable bravery, too, from Klitschko, who so, so wanted to win this. Oh, most definitely. He put everything he had into it. He said he was obsessed with getting the belts back, you know, I take my hats out to both of the fighters. They risked their lives in there. They put everything on the line for 90,000 people, and they did a wonderful job. So hats out to both of them, and congratulations to Anthony Joshua. Unbelievable bravery shown there from both men. But ultimately, the younger, fitter, fresher man prevailed in what was a fantastic night here at the Wembley Stadium. We couldn't have asked for much more. We had an amazing night here three years ago when he fought George Groves, and we have eclipsed it tonight in the heavyweight division, the battle of the ages. Huge respect to Vladimir Klitschko, but Anthony Joshua made it his night, coming back from the brink to deliver a punishing 11th round stoppage, and the cards at the time 96-93 to Joshua, 95-93 to Joshua, and 95-93 to Klitschko. It was close. It was very close. And the pendulum swung back and forth, but ultimately Joshua prevailed, took over, and shown his class, and he'll grow from that. Who's going to stop Joshua now? When Joshua knocked Klitschko down in the fifth, it was his. Then his heavy fall in the sixth, Klitschko Got the rounds under his belt, the jab started working. But that's what heavyweight boxing is all about. You never know, Deontay. You never know. That's why I always say it's not over until it's over. And this right here proves it. In hindsight, Vladimir Klitschko may look at that and say, I should have gone for the stoppage. I should have stepped on the gas, gas but it's all ifs and buts. There could always be a rematch. There could be a unification with yourself, Deontay. How do you fancy that? Alan, that sounds so lovely. <laughs> Another 90,000 at Wembley next oh, it, summer. You know what? Even, even with this fight, they were saying Wilder, Joshua. They want it. They want it. So we probably can do even bigger numbers this next. Klitschko's getting stopped there on his feet. Joshua just imposing that energy and that youth that we talked about. He's only 27 years old. His tank refueled, and the finish was there. Vladimir Klitschko stopped for the first time in over a decade, and Anthony Joshua launches himself into the sporting elite. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Wembley Stadium, London, England, we have witnessed one of the great heavyweight championship contests in recent memory. The end comes. As referee David Fields calls a halt to the bout and two minutes, 25 seconds of round number 11, the winner, now the unified champion, still the reigning and defending IBF heavyweight champion of the world, the fighting pride of all England, AJ Anthony. Dream night at the old Wembley in 19.
1995 when he became heavyweight champion at the fourth attempt. Anthony Joshua has done it in front of three times as many people here in the new Wembley. The fight and night of his life. Wow. And what an incredible fight for the heavyweight division. Straight to Andy Scott to hear from Anthony Joshua, the champion. Anthony, an incredible, incredible fight. You've picked yourself up off the floor to retain your title. Put it into words for everyone here and everybody at home. Well, what can I say? First and foremost, <laughs> All right, all right, let me switch up. <laughs> Woo! 19 and 0, three and a half years in the game. As I said, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. And if you don't take part, you're gonna fail. So I wanna give a massive shout out to my trainer from Finch ABC, all the trainers at GB Boxing because from the ground up, they developed me to now. I want to give a massive shout out to, I hope there's 90,000 people here already, to 90,000 people in the arena. <laughs> and, 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 and. And lastly, as boxing states, you leave your ego at the door and you respect your opponent. So a massive shout out to Vladimir Klitschko for taking part. How much respect do you have for this man here? Okay. I'm not going to say too much because I don't know if he wants to come back and fight me again. But I got, in, in, in the terms of the Boxing Hall of Fame and the Boxing Arena, he's a role model in and out of the ring. And I've got nothing but love and respect for anyone that steps in the ring, including Vladimir Klitschko, Vitaly Klitschko, Jonathan Banks, Robert McCracken, Tony Sims, Max McCracken, Peter Sims, Seltzer, South, Freddie Cunningham, the list goes on. You can hear, I'm a little bit emotional because I know I've got doubters that think that I can't do this and do that, but I dig deep, it is what it is. As I said, if you don't take part, you're gonna fail. So just give it a go and you never know the outcome. London, Ukraine, Germany, thank you. I love you all, thank you very much. Anthony. Break the fight down for us and how you thought it was going, including the knockdown in the fifth and then you were down in the sixth. Well, you know, this is boxing. I'm only gonna improve. You know, like, look, sometimes you can be a phenomenal boxer, but boxing is about character. And when you go to the trenches, that's when you find out who you really are. In this small little ring here, there's nowhere to hide. And as I said from the get-go, it will be a boxing classic and the best man will win. That's all it is. There's no, there's no complications about boxing. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do it. Just give it a go. As I said, it's about character. Find what you believe in, what you're good at, and just give it a go. Keep on digging, digging, and digging. How deep did you have to dig in that fight? <laughs> it is what it is. You can see I come out and I won. That's how far I had to dig. I didn't, I didn't go into a a 12 round slugfest and, 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 and struggle to beat Klitschko. I come back and I fought my heart out and I got him out of there. That's what I'm about. Um, and Fury, Tyson Fury, where you at, baby? <laughs> come on, that's what, is that what you want to see? Come on, we're here, man. I enjoy fighting. I love fighting Tyson Fury. I know he's been talking a lot and he wants to come back and compete. I want to give 90,000 people another chance to witness a lovely night of boxing. I just want to fight everyone, man. I'm really enjoying this right now. A Holyfield, Lennox, Roy Jones Jr., the icons and legends at ringside, you're all my inspirations. I watched all of you lot growing up. Roy Jones, what's it? Can't be touched. Mr. Unstoppable. I listen to all of that, man. You're my inspiration, man, honestly. Thank you for coming out to a beautiful night of boxing. Can I go home now? <laughs> Can I go home now? Thank you. Let's have a word with Vladimir. Vladimir, commiserations. What went wrong tonight? 
London. I think you've made a few friends here. I love you too, guys. I hope you enjoyed the fight. Both fighters were really giving its best. The best man won tonight. And it's an amazing event for boxing. Two gentlemen fought each other. I said gentlemen because boxing came from England. So truly two gentlemen fought each other. Anthony was better today than I. It's really sad that I didn't make it tonight. I was planning to do it. It didn't work. But all the respect to Anthony, congratulations. Love and respect to you guys, 90,000 people present. You're awesome, guys. Thank you so much for your support of the sport and of this fight. What will you do next? Are you interested in a rematch? Of course, we have it in the contract. I'm right now interested. Analyze what the heck has happened. <laughs> so, I did enjoy the night as well as you. I wish I could raise my hands instead of being someone that actually didn't make it and won the titles back. But congratulations to Anthony. He got up, he fought back, and he won the titles. Commiserations. Thank you for staying and talking to us. A huge night of boxing from Cardiff's Principality Stadium. Listen to this crowd. The main event, Joshua Takam. Heavyweight action from Dylan White. Right hand from Dylan White. What a tough battle. Kai Yafai defends his super flyweight world title. Absolute thriller. Katie Taylor in her first world title shot. An all British bout, Buglioni v Johnson. Joshua Takam on Sky Sports Box Office. Order now for 1995. Press the green button whilst on this channel and you'll be taken to the box office ordering page. For further details, go to skysports.com slash Joshua. A £5 surcharge applies if ordered by phone on October the 28th.